Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing swatches and a review of the Makeup for Melanin Girls and Ron Raji Skin Collection Liquid Lipstick Set. So if you don't know already what this brand is, Makeup for Melanin Girls is a black-owned makeup brand. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't heard of them, you've probably seen one of their products before. Their glitter palette, their glitter palette is super popular. And um, recently, they just collabed with the influencer and YouTuber, Ronke Raji. I love her so much. I love her channel. I love everything she does to create this liquid lipstick set made for us by us. So this liquid lipstick set is meant to like be the perfect nudes for our skin tones, for deeper skin tones without having to use lip liners, alterations, and things like that. So if you're interested in seeing how I feel about this collection, please keep on watching. And if you're not, please stop right here. It's not worth your time and effort. So let's get into the video. The first lipstick in the collection is the shade Desnudo. It is a pinky beige lipstick. It's not too light, but it's not too dark for me to wear as a liquid lipstick, a nude lip liquid lipstick. This is the lightest of the four shades, so I definitely would wear a lip liner with this if you're um, a few shades lighter than me, so I would say at least probably like NC45 and darker, I would say you should wear a lip liner with this. But overall, this is a really nice pink nude color and I completely recommend it. Um, like just for a nice nude pink color, really, really pretty. So the next shade I have is called Naked. It's a mid-tone nude color that leans more on the cool side, which I really, 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 really love. I don't require a lip liner for this particular lipstick. You can wear it by itself. No lip liner required, no alterations required, and it will look bomb. It will look amazing on deep skin tones. Um, that's what I really like about this collection. You don't have to, you don't have to manipulate it a lot. So the third shade I have is called Flesh. I would describe it as like a chocolatey nude. It's not a brown but it's not like a true nude it sits right in the middle it has its brown tones but it has the nude tones in there like pink tones in there it's a really lovely lipstick if you're looking for something that's more subdued um and a little bit deeper than naked I would recommend this shade um, if you're looking for something that's really work appropriate or school appropriate, um, something that's not in your face. Um, this works for any skin tone from light to dark. The last shade I have is called Birthday Soup. It is a red leaning dark brown, so red based dark brown. This is definitely great for fall. Um, or if you just like wearing brown liquid lipsticks, you can wear this all the time. Yep, this is such a pretty color. I honestly have to say this is an amazing color to wear. Um, you can put any look with it, personally. And yeah, this is just a really lovely color. You can buy all four of these shades individually on the Makeup for Melanin Girls website. They each will retail for 17 US dollars. Or you can buy all four shades along with a brown lip liner in a set for $50, which honestly, I think it's more worth it if you buy the set because you're getting more for your money and if you were to buy all four separately, you're not getting a lip liner and it's more expensive. Also, they run deals all the time on their website. They always have coupon codes that are active, so you can also get use the coupon code and get this set for cheaper. So for the consistency of these liquid lipsticks, they are a matte liquid lipstick. However, they don't dry down as quickly as other matte liquid lipsticks I've tried. They tend to take at least 3-4 minutes to dry down for me personally. So that if I want to like layer the colors on top of each other, um, like put one in the middle, put another two on the outer part of my lips they all can blend together and 
melt into each other which I really like because sometimes when I want to layer liquid lipsticks over each other they don't work out because one has dried down so fast um, to the point that I can't blend the other shade into it if I'm layering liquid lipsticks. These smell like chocolate which I really really like so um, but to other people it may not work out if you're sensitive to fragrances. It's very comfortable on the lips. For, like sometimes when I wear liquid lipsticks they crack on me even though I'm used to wearing liquid lipsticks all the time but these don't crack and they're very very flexible and they're really really matte but they don't feel like they're sucking the life out of your lips. Uh, my favorite out of the set definitely has to be Naked. I wore this in my last video if you guys were wondering with a little bit of Desnudo in the middle but Naked definitely has to be my favorite because I can wear this nude without any lip liner. Um, like with me when it comes to nude lipsticks I always have to be finagling them to get them perfect the way I want to. Now I don't have to do that especially with this shade. Flush is also a really really nice shade. I use it like if I'm going like heavy particularly on the eyes and I want that full like blank nude lip that blends into my skin tone. I'll use flush for that. Um, as I said earlier Desnudo is a lovely shade however if you're like NC45 and darker, you do need to wear a lip liner with this for it to be wearable. That's the only thing for this shade. You have to wear a brown lip liner for this shade. Uh, and then for Birthday Suit. Birthday Suit is a weird shade for me. I'm wearing it on my lips today. However, uh, I found that this shade is the streakiest shade for me. You guys can't see it, but it is quite patchy in some areas, um, which it happens with a lot of dark shades I wear. They tend to be patchy and I have to even them out. Like, it's patchy here. You guys can't see it up here. Yeah, so it's more on the streaky and patchy side. So if I'm going to wear this liquid lipstick, I have to do at least two layers on my lips for it to be perfectly even. But other than that, this is a very comfortable shade to wear. It smells like chocolate. Great shade for fall. Definitely recommend it if you're you want a brown lipstick just to have in your everyday like arsenal or if you want a brown shade for fall, definitely recommend this shade. I would show you guys the brown lip liner, but I can't find it anywhere. It's just a regular plain brown lip liner. If you don't have a brown lip liner in your collection, what are you doing? Because brown lip liner is life. It makes any shade work, any shade of lipstick work for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite color out of the collection. Mine definitely has to be naked. It's my favorite shade. Wore in my last video. If you're interested in watching that, I will leave the link in the description bar. Um, congratulations again to Ronkai Raji for this amazing collabs and to Makeup for Melting Girls for spearheading this collab. Like, this definitely has to be the best collab for dark skinned girls ever. Made for us, by us. I love that motto. So I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.